Hello and welcome to the Mount Airy Museum of Regional History. I'm Mark Brown, Creative Director here, and we've got a hundred stories to tell. I'd like to tell you a thousand stories, but we've got to limit it down. Here at the museum, we keep all the region's history. The story you're going to hear today is called Poor Ellen Smith. Peter DeGraff was fed up. That girl had to go. She had done it this time. He caught up with Ellen Smith at the Zinzendorfer Hotel in Winston-Salem, and when he was finished, she was shot through the heart. He went on the run immediately. This was 1892, and it wasn't so easy to find a killer then, even if he was living just down the street. DeGraff lived various places under assumed names, and it took most of a year to run him down. When the authorities ran across him working on tips from area people, they discovered he had been working in Mount Airy at a sawmill. Arrested, he stood trial, although he insisted he had not committed Ellen's murder. Mount Airy resident Ben Jarrell, 14 years old, traveled more than a day to Winston-Salem to visit with DeGraff in his jail cell. They probably knew each other from the sawmill. According to tradition, DeGraff had written a song about the murder and then taught it to Benny. From there, it seems to have soaked into local culture. Poor Ellen Smith, how was she found? Shot through the heart, lying cold on the ground. And another verse goes, they picked up their rifles and hunted me down. They found me a loaf in in Mount Airy Town. And that's how, even though the murder didn't happen in Surrey County, it is tied forever to Mount Airy. Right before DeGraff was hanged on February 8, 1894, he confessed to the murder. Years later, Benny taught the song to his son, Tommy Gerald, and the rest of the world heard DeGraff's story. It's still being repeated all these years later. Not many murder songs you could dance to like that one. Thomas Jefferson Tommy Jarrell, probably the most famous old time string band fiddler from our area. The style of music he played is called the Round Peak Sound. Round Peak is a small mountain and the little community around it has the same name. They're both out in the northwest corner of Surrey County. And in Tommy's day, it was pretty isolated out there. Most people just farmed for themselves and maybe did some crafts. Their music evolved to have a driving dance beat. Yes, even their murder ballads. People that came from Round Peak have said that they didn't have much, but they did have live music everywhere. The music of their Scotch-Irish ancestors, which came over with them, as well as Revolutionary War and Civil War era songs they'd picked up. A huge catalog of folk music that was never written down, just committed to memory. Without recordings or sheet music, you had to learn the song directly from whoever knew it, or thought they did. It was common for words to get mixed up or misheard. To be truthful, if you were at a community dance after a corn shucking, you probably weren't listening real close to the lyrics when you danced. Tommy Gerald had literally thousands of songs like this in his brain, and we got most of them recorded when that technology came along. Not only did he remember each song and its lyrics, but he could also remember when he learned it, who from, what key it was usually played in, and even who he'd taught it to. There's a reason that little old man who eventually settled down in Toast, North Carolina is considered a national treasure. In 1981, he received the Brown Hudson Folklore Award from North Carolina's Folklore Society for the part he played as a collector and teacher of traditional music and for his distinctive musical style. His fiddle was donated to the Smithsonian Institute's National Museum of American History, where it's housed today. So come see us at the Mount Airy Museum of Regional History. We like to say we are living history. It's a journey and we're all going through it together. Check us out on Facebook or find us on other social media platforms. And until we see you again, thanks for watching.